Hi, this is Rafa coming to you on behalf of uh, Yasriel America, or the Barbarians of America. Barbarians is the old name for the Freedomites. They rebelled against the empires for uh, centuries and centuries. They were the enemies of every empire because they didn't believe in bowing before emperors and empires and rulers. They believed in bowing before Almighty God whom they call Yah, that thus barbari Yah, those who follow the son of Yah, or sons of the son of Yah. Well, I'm uh, delighted to be part of that, and uh, we were called that by the British when they came uh, from Europe, we are called barbarians, and so we were, and so we still are. We're freedomites. We believe that no one should rule us over our families except God. And uh, if you love your, your wife or your, uh, your woman, then uh, you should treat her with special respect and uh, lift her up and you should be a servant to her. That's what true love is all about, is being a servant voluntarily to one another. Not because you have to, but because you choose to. Now, Today, I'm going to talk to you about a very sensitive subject. And I can guarantee you there are going to be many of you really uh, offended by this at first. I would have been offended about, uh, by it um, years ago when I was young. I used to be an uh, evangelical preacher, a pastor, and it was of a large growing church. And I love the name of Jesus. I did. I just thought, you know, everybody needed Jesus. And uh, there's still lots and lots of people, lots of my fellow Americans, that, uh, you know, love Jesus with all their heart. So I say this um, with a sensitivity that sometimes I don't show. But for you all who have grown up and all you've ever known is the name of Jesus. He's the Son of God. He is, quote, holy. He's sacred. He is the one who's going to save your soul. He's the one who's going to save your family. All right. I give you this simply to study. And if you don't want to pursue it, then don't. Because God gives you freedom to choose what you want to believe. And at least for a while. But you see, I'm saying this because God is good. And He wants you to be blessed. He wants you to prosper. He wants you to have His benefits. But you can't have his benefits until you come into alignment with who he is, who he truly is. Now, Revelation 12, 9 says Satan deceives the whole world. The whole world. Everybody. He deceives. You think you're smart enough? You think you're scholars in your religion? <laughs> smart enough to deceive Satan? No. You and I, all of us got deceived. There's no place for arrogance here. And uh, there are plenty of religious arrogant, uh, you know, egotists. And uh, a lot of uh, folks think they know everything. But here's the bottom line. The name of Jesus is only about 500 years old. It first came about uh, about the time of the uh, Jesuits around 533 in Europe. Um, it is a uh, bad translation, uh, if it's a translation at all, of what the Roman Catholics gave us for 1,200 years, which was Jesus. The, the uh, Spanish-speaking people know still a variation of this as Jesus, which simply means Hail Zeus. That's what it means. That's what we got December 25th as a continuation of 4,000-year-old Babylonian sun god worship. 
our scholars haven't made much progress at all since the Babylonians told us to worship the sun on December 25th. We still got the Easter egg hunt. Easter eggs are a sign of fertility. And it's kind of ironic that we're teaching our, little, uh, our young daughters to go out there and pick up fertility eggs. And we're telling them that the Easter bunny laid those eggs. <laughs> well, uh, I thought the pastor says, well, just once a year, you know. And if it gets people to Jesus, then it's all right. So you're saying, Pastor, that a lie is okay as long as it has the, um, the effect of getting people to church, right? Nickels and noses. All right. I love God more than that. And I hope you do too. Because even if it hurts, and it does hurt, it hurt me. I mean, man, it was like ripping out my very insides to find out that so many of these things I had grown up treasuring as truth turned out to be wrong. They're based in pagan myths. 